One of my favorite questions to get asked as a teacher is, when are we ever going to use this? And yes, it is spoken every time in that manner. It's as if the words come with a built-in sigh of exasperation, reflecting that age-old struggle of trying to find relevance in academic content. However, this question highlights an essential element of teaching, connecting classroom learning with real-world application. It's an opportunity for me to emphasize that the skills and knowledge we explore in the classroom are not mere concepts, but practical tools that students will benefit from in their future endeavors. The answer to when are we ever going to use this often lies in connecting these concepts to everyday scenarios, showing how they apply to various professions, personal decisions, and broader societal issues. It's a reminder that education is not just about memorizing facts, but about preparing students to engage with and make sense of the world around them. Today, I want to take you on a journey, a journey that goes beyond the confines of our classrooms and textbooks to explore the transformative power of community-based learning and the enriching experiences that connecting with local organizations can offer. Community-based learning transcends traditional classroom boundaries by integrating students into their communities, allowing for meaningful experiences and real-world connection. Through activities like organizing events, starting environmental cleanups, or inviting guest speakers into our classrooms, students apply theoretical knowledge to practical situations. They develop critical thinking skills, and they gain a sense of agency. They also develop skills in teamwork, problem solving, communication, and civic responsibility. One of my favorite examples of community-based learning is when our school invited Bath Ironworks and their training trailer to come visit. The training trailer consists of three virtual reality activities where students can practice painting and welding, tools that the company uses with their actual employees. One of my students, a sweet, quiet girl with autism, came bounding up to me. Miss Gilbert, Miss Gilbert, I scored an 89% on the welding game. They told me it was the highest score they had all day. I think I could be really good at welding. That student is now spending her summer interning at the IW, an opportunity she never would have applied for without this community-based learning opportunity helping her realize her interest. Community-based learning isn't just beneficial to students. Community members benefit from students' fresh ideas, energy, and creativity in solving local issues. Additionally, community partners can showcase their industries and highlight possible future opportunities, effectively promoting themselves to the future generations and inspiring students to join their businesses after they graduate. These partnerships improve <coughs> community services, raise awareness of local issues, and develop a skilled, engaged future workforce. This symbiotic relationship enhances student learning, strengthens community bonds, and promotes continuous improvement, while also helping students gain a deeper understanding of future job opportunities and careers they may want to pursue. Five years ago, my colleagues and I decided to create a unit on how humans are impacting their environment, both positively and negatively. The project my team and I created for this unit started as a straightforward research assignment looking at global environmental issues. Initially, Students were tasked with investigating the causes, effects, and potential solutions to a self-selected worldwide issue. However, to make the project more engaging and relevant, two years ago I decided to shift the focus of this project to integrating community interviews and connecting the topic to local issues. Students still begin by researching the history and current state of their chosen topic on a global level. Then they narrow their focus to how it's impacting our region. They conduct interviews with local professionals, environmentalists, and community members to understand the nuanced perspectives and challenges faced by those directly impacted. By connecting their research to real-world local issues, students were able to see the direct impact of their chosen topic on their hometown, making the project more personal and meaningful. A topic such as deforestation was no longer an issue being faced hundreds of miles away, but could now be connected to Maine's lumber industry and the sustainable practices being adopted by local businesses. For one of my students, we'll call her Emma, our Human Impacts Project sparked a passion for addressing local issues. Emma chose to research invasive species and begun by conducting interviews with local researchers and fishermen. Through these conversations, she learned about the significant threat of invasive green crabs on the local waters in her own town, Harpswell, Maine. 
As Emma dug deeper, she discovered the severe impact these crabs were having not only on the local environment, but also the fishing industry. Struck by this damage and motivated to make a difference, Emma embraced a renewed sense of purpose. Now entering her senior year, her interest in marine biology and the invasive green crabs has only continued. She spent the past year researching colleges where she can learn marine biology and bring back what she knows to her own hometown to face these environmental challenges. As this project evolved, I grew significantly as a teacher and educator. Shifting away from a traditional research approach to a more interactive, community-focused project required me to adopt new teaching strategies and foster stronger connections with community members. I learned the importance of creating educational experiences that extend beyond the classroom and saw firsthand how powerful it can be when students are given the opportunity to engage and work with their community. This experience has reinforced my belief in the value of experiential learning and has inspired me to continue finding innovative ways to connect my students to the world around them. As we embrace community-based learning and the opportunities community engagement present, we must remember that education is a journey, not just a destination. It's about nurturing curiosity, fostering connections, and cultivating a sense of purpose that expands both global and local contexts. Let us commit to creating enriching experiences that prepare our students to thrive in an ever-changing world. All of you sitting here today have the opportunity to support community-based learning and work collaboratively with our schools to connect them with local organizations. Together, we can not only enhance educational experiences for students, but also prepare them to be compassionate, informed, and active global citizens. And hopefully, they will never need to ask, why are we learning this again? Thank you.